I can't believe I found a $5 advent calendar at Five Below. Make sure to watch the whole entire video to see if the calendar is worth $5. guys and welcome back to my channel so get this i recently took you guys shopping at five below and i showed you a bunch of gift sets and dupes it was seriously a lot of fun but whenever i was shopping i actually found the first five below advent calendar so if you guys go to the store you should be able to find this set for only five dollars which is seriously insane and let me tell you guys something i did peek at the back but i didn't see everything but i have to say the products that i did see honestly blew me away for only five dollars because last year i did a similar video where I showed you guys like advent calendars for five dollars and under and honestly it was pretty good but it wasn't as good as this one right here so make sure you watch the whole entire video because you're probably going to get blown away about what you can get for five dollars and this is a lot of fun to give to friends and family so number one is right here I think it's a bath bomb. Actually, no, it's bath salt. And I will say it's pretty hard to get out of here. And it's because I have long nails. But wow, you guys, the bath salts are actually very, very tiny. But I've tried these before. These are actually dupes for the Bath & Body Works Aromatherapy Bath Salts. So if you end up loving this, then obviously go to the store and get like the full size for like $3. And they have different scents this time of the year. But this one is specifically Blooming Cactus. So it looks really, really cute and small. And it says, add one cupful of salt to a warm bath for a soothing total body experience. How amazing is that? So obviously I need to give this one a on to a bath salt. So this one is Blooming Cactus and it's blue. It's really, really cute. So let's go ahead and put this in the tub. And you definitely don't get a lot. So that's pretty disappointing. But I will say it smells really weird. Yeah, you guys, this one doesn't smell good whatsoever. It smells really, really weird. I don't know, but let's go ahead and test it out. Yeah, you guys, there's barely anything in this bag. So what is the point? You definitely need to buy more. But let's go ahead and move on to number two, which is right here. It's also very small. So hopefully it's not another bath salt because that would start off this box very disappointing, I feel like. And it's actually a little bath bomb. So honestly, I hate when advent calendars put little cheap bath bombs. Maybe this one is good, we will see. And it's actually really hard to get out of here. So I probably need to ask my husband for some help because my nails are super long, but this one actually smells like roses and very clean. So I love the smell of it. So I guess that's a good sign, but let me go ahead and see the bag. So it says it's supposed to smell like sweet jasmine. It smells really, really good, so highly recommend. So I really wanted to show you guys like how this bath bomb is going to look in the tub. So let me tell you guys something. This tub is actually pretty big and I'm putting a little tiny bath bomb. So usually these small bath bombs, you have to have three of them to take like a full bath, you know? So obviously I feel like this would be really nice for the girls because, you know, they don't need a lot of bath water to take a bath, unlike me, you know? Let me go ahead and smell this. It does smell really, really nice, like Japanese Blossom from Bath & Body Works. And I recently took you guys there and found like, you know, the Japanese Blossom bath bombs, like the big ones that are made for a full bath. So let's go ahead and run this tub. move on to number three which is all the way up here so obviously way bigger but so far the other two products did not blow me away and you guys super exciting so this one is a lip mask and these are usually i believe two dollars and 25 cents at five below so you're almost meeting that five dollar mark you know but yeah this one is super cute and it's really easy to get out of there. So this one is specifically collagen and rose and the packaging is pink, which is really cute. So I love how the bath bomb smells like roses too. So that's really nice. Whenever you're taking a bath, just put this on too. We made it to the lip mask. So let's go ahead and see what this one is all about. So collagen and rose. I recently got one from the dollar store, if you guys remember, and I got so excited, but whenever I put the lip mask on my actual lips, it kept falling off. So hopefully this one actually sticks to my lips and I like to use an under you know eye mask while I'm using a lip mask so I can just knock out both but I will say the under eye mask is starting to come down but that's okay let's go ahead and try out this lip mask and it matches these under eye pads so that's amazing and it's very juicy too I love it 
yes you guys it feels cooling so i love the feeling on my lips but i have to mention like this keeps falling off just like the other lip mask so that is why i like to get mine from like tj maxx where it actually sticks you know and i broke it too so i don't know not a fan of the lip mask, but I really like these under eye pads. But yeah, let's go ahead and move on to day number four, which is right here. So obviously it's really small. And you guys, I think it's a face mask. Like, yes, I'm super excited about that. And I believe I saw the full size ones at Five Below for like three bucks. It's really hard to get the mist out of here, you guys. So let's go ahead and spray this on the face, but it's super tiny as you guys can see, but you can definitely try this out before you buy the full size, which like I said, I think it's between two to $3, but I can't wait to try this one out. It's so cute and it's travel friendly too. It doesn't smell like lavender. It smells like something else, like a Laffy Taffy, if that makes sense. So yeah, it definitely does not smell like lavender, which I was expecting it to smell like lavender. So honestly, I'm pretty disappointed about the scent. I prefer it to not have a scent anyways, but yeah, I was expecting lavender, like a really nice, sweet smelling lavender scent, but this is very underwhelming, but I will say it did make my face feel refreshed and everything. So that's pretty good, but I wish they would have put like rose or like pepper instead of this one because it just doesn't smell like lavender so definitely very underwhelming and honestly it was one of the products that I was very excited for but then again what do you expect for five dollars you know so obviously it's supposed to be for fun and it looks like they put another little thing of bath salt so I recently saw this one at Five Below specifically so sweet jasmine and this one obviously matches like the bath bomb perfectly so that's amazing so obviously you can put this in the bathtub and the bath bomb and then it'll smell really really good so I'm probably going to do that so the same directions as the other bath salts of course just add it to warm water but I wish it would have came with a little bit more but that's and we finally made it to the sweet jasmine bath salts so obviously I'm going to mix like this with the other two bath bombs and the other bath salts so I guess you could use all four if you really want to So once again, you barely get anything. So definitely use all four if you get this advent calendar. And we finally made it to day number six, which is right here. So it's really big. Let's cross our fingers that this one blows me away. Yes, you guys, another mask. So this one is actually an eye mask and it has hyaluronic acid and aloe vera. So you guys know hyaluronic acid is really good for the skin and I love hyaluronic acid masks. So I'm very excited to try this one out. So obviously you only get one of these, but I like the packaging too. It's purple, it's really, really cute. And for those of you that like to buy advent calendars for fun, if you end up not liking something, just add this to like a Christmas gift or a stocking for someone because someone else might end up loving what you don't care for, you know? So I just had to mention that, but I'm very happy so far about the eye mask and the lip mask. I'm all about that. And we finally made it to the eye mask, you guys, which I'm actually pretty excited about. So this one has hyaluronic acid and aloe vera, so don't forget that. And it looks like this, you guys. Honestly, I thought it was going to be purple instead of white, but you know what? That's okay, as long as it gets the job done. And you guys, these are super juicy, so it's probably going to feel amazing. And it does, it feels so cool. Like a cooling effect, if that makes sense. Wow. I'm telling you guys, like this brand from Five Below makes really good skincare products for such an affordable price. And usually these are $2 for like a pack of three. So wow, it feels really, really good. So if you guys see this from Five Below, you have to pick it up. And it says to leave it on each eye for about 10 minutes. So wow, I love it. And number seven is actually right here. So this one is actually the Lavender Face Wash. And I mean, it's super tiny as you guys can see. I'm not sure if you can tell, but wow, it's so freaking cute and tiny. And you can obviously take this on the go if you really want to, like whenever you're traveling. But honestly, I'm probably not going to like this face wash just because like the face mist, the lavender smell was very underwhelming and I can barely smell anything, so it's probably not going to smell like lavender at all. It's probably not going to smell like anything, so we will see. I'm going to try this out. But we are actually in the bathroom, as you guys can see, so I really want to try out this face wash for you guys, so I will say it's super tiny, so obviously I'm probably going to use just a little bit because if I end up loving this, I don't want to go through it too fast, you know, because I have to use something a couple of times before I actually decide to get the full size, you know, so let's go ahead and get a little bit. 
And let's see if it has a smell to it. Apparently it claims to smell like lavender. And I will say it does smell pretty good. So let's go ahead and wash my face real quick. And please excuse my hair, you guys. I'm actually chilling today, so honestly, I don't really care how my hair looks. But wow, that face wash was actually very light on the face. It didn't cause like a reaction. Honestly, made my face feel very soft. So wow. If you get the full size, I believe it's only like three to five dollars, but it actually made my face feel amazing. Honestly, it reminds me of you know like the cleansers from Lush, like the feeling. It just feels so clean. So 100% yes. Whenever it comes to the face wash, and we finally made it to day eight. So obviously something small again. But definitely let me know what you guys think about this advent calendar so far. So I'm very happy about this one right here. So they actually included an essential oil. So these are actually $5 each at five low. So obviously you got your money back for the box. So obviously worth it. But let's go ahead and get this one out. It's honestly really hard to get out of this box. So I want to show you guys the rest before, you know, I take this apart because obviously I have to, to get the essential oil out and also like the pink bath bomb but yeah let's go ahead and go to day number nine which is right here so let's see what is in here so the next thing that is in here is actually a collagen and vitamin C eye cream. So I wonder if this one is good. Honestly, I love trying out new eye cream because I have really bad bags under my eyes. I'm not sure if you guys can tell, but I feel like an eye cream is so important. But recently I've been using like Lush products like the moisturizer, the cleanser, the mask, and I feel like it's definitely helping out my skin. But yeah, I definitely want to give this eye cream a go. And obviously it's super tiny in size. So you're probably going to get, you know, a couple nice with this but usually this brand is super affordable at five below let's go ahead and see how it feels on the hand so I will say it's very like smooth and has like this cooling feeling which is really nice and it definitely settles on the skin very well so I can't wait to give this one a go tonight so it's finally time to try out the eye cream you guys And I like to use my finger and just dab it on. And I will say this one has like a cooling effect. So I like how this one feels, you know? So honestly, 10 out of 10, it feels amazing. I wonder if it actually makes a difference for like my under bags, you know? We will see. So that was number nine, but let's go ahead and go to number 10, which is right here. So it's a little loofah, you guys. I mean, it's super tiny, not even like dollar store quality. So I feel like they should have put something else besides like this super cheap looking loofah. I mean, what the heck is this, you guys? It is the smallest loofah ever. And honestly, the girls, they like the big loofahs from Target too. So they're probably going to laugh at this loofah whenever I show them. But alrighty then, just let me know what you guys think. And here's the loofah, you guys. So obviously very tiny. We will see if the girls like it. Honestly. What a waste for day number 10. But let's go ahead and go to day number 11, which is all the way on the top right here. So of course they put another bath bomb, you guys. So this one is purple instead of pink. And I believe it's called Blooming Cactus, but it says bath salt, not a bath bomb. So that's very confusing. But yeah, I'm pretty sure it's going to smell good. It smells really, really nice. Actually, I like it more than the pink I one. I made it to the purple bath bombs. So I showed you guys earlier the pink bath bomb and I feel like it's okay, but me and the girls, like we have sensitive skin. So that's why I like to get, you know, really nice bath bombs from Lush. But I just had to show you guys these just in case you don't have sensitive skin. This one smells like a very sweet scent but it's not overpowering, if that makes sense. Honestly, I like the smell of this one over the pink one, but let's go ahead and put this in here and it's going to make like the bath water look so pretty, you know, pink and purple mixed together. So do you guys see it bubbling? So I will say it definitely sits on the bottom. It doesn't float up, but you can tell it's stronger than the pink one. So that's pretty awesome, you know? But we finally made it to day 12. So hopefully this makes the whole entire box. So it looks like they included a body lotion. So this one is called Cherry Blossom. Hopefully it smells like the Cherry Blossom lotions from Bath & Body Works, but it's a super tiny size. But you know what? You can actually use this whenever you're on the go, just put it in your purse or whenever you're traveling, obviously travel friendly. Cherry Blossom Body Lotion. So let's go ahead and see if it's actually very moisturizing. And you probably noticed that it's actually the next day, but I just had to try these out for you. So you can decide if you really want to pick up this calendar so let's go ahead and give this one a go 
So I will say it definitely feels very like slippery, but it's definitely, you know, going into the skin very well. And I will say it smells delicious, just like the cherry blossom, you know, lotion from Bath and Body Works. So I feel like this one is definitely a do. And it's not greasy either. The only thing that I notice about this one is that it's a little bit sticky, which is really weird. So I wonder if that feeling will go away, but I just love the smell of this. So obviously I really like this one and I'm probably going to put this into my new Louis Vuitton purse. So I can't wait to share that purse with you guys. But wow, amazing body lotion. And I'm very happy they included this one. And yeah, that's pretty much everything that was in this $5 like advent calendar. Let me know if you guys think it's worth $5. Honestly, I think it's worth it because they included this cherry blossom essential oil, which is always $5 at Five Below. And I also love the fact that they put in, you know, this eye mask, which I believe is usually $2. And also, you know, the lip mask that is usually $2 too. And I guess like the eye cream is pretty exciting. And I feel pretty happy about the facial mist. I mean, it gets the job done, which is always good. Good. And the bath salts actually smell pretty good too, so I'm all about that. But yeah, definitely let me know your thoughts about this box in the comment section down below. So that is going to be it for this one. Definitely stay tuned for the next shopping video. And if you are new, I make everyday shopping videos. So make sure you hit the bell and subscribe and everything. But I will see you guys in the next one.